Hello, this is Daryl with Roanoke Hobby. Today we're going to take a look at something I backed on Kickstarter and it's come in now. So um, the first part of the video, we'll just take a quick look at what comes inside the box. And then in the second part of the video, we'll look at setting it up with the Bluetooth keyboard. So stay tuned. So here it is. This is the Raz Pad from SunFounder. And it's a 10-inch uh, IPS touchscreen and a nice uh, case here that holds your uh, Raspberry Pi. The uh, touchscreen works uh, through the USB connector here that uh, plugs in to the internal uh, controller there. And on the other side here, we got the uh, power switch, um, volume control for the audio, and also the brightness control uh, for the brightness of the screen. Um, it's got an HDMI and USB, mini uh, USB, which from the owner's manual, um, the way they describe it, that's for uh, attaching this to your PC and using this as a touchpad. Um, for your PC. So kind of the opposite of what I expect. I thought maybe it would be HDMI out, but it's actually HDMI in to see the to see your PC on the uh, on this touchscreen. Uh, headphone jack and then the power. So I would have thought this was power, but it's not. Uh, this is the power jack. So for the power, uh, what it comes with is a 5.5 volt, 4 amp uh, power supply with the uh, barrel type connector. And um, the one thing I noticed, and it's kind of hard to demonstrate here, but the uh, to me the cord is a little short uh, if you're going to uh, plug this in at your desk or you'll have to have an extension cord or have it be sitting right next to a power cord. Probably did that on purpose so that you didn't have a long cord to trip over. Set that aside and what it also came with was the uh, user's manual and then a booklet with some example projects to do with, uh, with the RazPad and your Raspberry Pi. So that, they did a nice job of providing some documentation with the owner's manual and uh, with the example projects. So I've flipped it over here and uh, removed the, uh, the cover just to kind of show how the Raspberry Pi is um, mounted inside the Raspad. I uh, had actually backed it at like the this was like the most basic kit so it did not come with a Raspberry Pi uh, already installed so I had to install mine so this is just a um, a Raspberry Pi uh, 3 model B um, I didn't at the time when I got this I didn't have a, a B plus but uh, they did document during the Kickstarter that they did test it with the uh, Raspberry Pi 3 model B and uh, I've added a uh, couple of the heat sinks. Um, here's the USB for the touchscreen plugged in. So basically there's four little posts here that the uh, Raspberry Pi fits on and holds it firmly. Um, what I ended up finding out the best way to do it was to plug in the power and the HDMI and then try to get it seated inside securely and then it has a little um, protector here and those actually fit over the four posts just like that. So it still leaves a cutout there for air to get to the, uh, to the CPU and the heat sinks. And also it uh, leaves room for access to the GPIO pins. So if you have a ribbon cable, you can attach it and they've designed it with a space for the ribbon cable to come out. Um, of the back there so that you could plug it into a um, breadboard. So they they thought, uh, they came up with a lot of the good uh, things to, to make this useful. So you actually have a portable Raspberry Pi with a built-in screen. 
uh, that take uh, on the road with you. One of the things I forgot to mention uh, included in the ResPad are a couple of speakers. So it's getting the audio off of the HDMI. And uh, so if you um, don't want to plug in the headphones, you actually have speakers built in. But we'll go ahead and turn it back around this way and you can get a nice shot of the ceiling there. We'll go ahead and power it up a little bit here. Now a little splash screen and then it'll go through the, um, the Raspbian startup. Of course, uh, you, what you see, you can have a splash screen there also and not see the uh, the text scrolling by, but I, uh, I disabled that. So there you have it. You have your uh, standard uh, Raspbian desktop here. Um, I like having the toolbar on the bottom, but being a touch screen, you can just tap. And so right out of the box, you can go um, into your preferences. And of course, if you've uh, flashed your SD card with a brand new copy of Noobs or Raspbian, it'll step you, step you through the configuration to get things started. So that's just a quick overview of uh, what's in the box and what that looks like. We'll, um, do in part two is uh, take a look at um, getting it set up with a Bluetooth keyboard. So the um, the touch screen is nice and um, you actually you can install um, a um, touch screen keypad and uh, in the comments I'll put a link to um, to an article about how to do that. Uh, so you could actually have a keyboard, pull up a keyboard on the touchscreen. But to me, it's a lot handier to have a, a keyboard. You could always do a USB keyboard um, plugged in, but that kind of defeats the purpose uh, of having something completely uh, portable. So um, a wireless um, keyboard is nice. So so that's, that's the end of part one. And... Uh, uh, stay, t uh, stay around and uh, watch part two where we go over uh, connecting a Bluetooth keyboard.